everybody. This is Big Stack Numismatics. Welcome to all my fellow coin collectors out there. I hope you're having a beautiful weekend. It's hot and sunny where I'm at and uh, almost triple digits. Where <laughs> So it's a good day to be indoors and uh, filming a video here. But um, I do have a couple of uh, really cool coins to show you. Some uh, Adrialis. Um, one of them of which was a shipwreck recovery. And one is just a, a pillar dollar that I picked up. So we'll be going over that uh, shortly. On my other channel, Big Stack McGee, I just profiled this really cool uh, five gram gold bar. You can head over that and see that if you so choose. But um, yeah, so right now I'm going to talk just briefly about this. So a good friend of mine, Silver by the Ounce. If you don't uh, follow Silver by the Ounce, you should. Um, great YouTuber. Um, one of the things I love about his channel is uh, he has different collection um, checklists and notebook that he goes over. He wants to collect, I believe, one of every eight realis from the last couple hundred years, which is such a daunting venture. And of course, he has some modern bullion he's chasing after as well. And he stacks, um, so he keeps track of all that. And every, at the end of every month, he does these fantastic updates where he gets out his checklist and is able to, um, like so many of us collectors out there, I think back in the day when uh, I used to collect baseball cards, and you get like a little checklist card and you could put the, the checks as you, you know, picked up the, the cards that are listed on it. Um, but he does a really good job of that. And it's just so much fun, I think, as a viewer to follow along. So go check out his channel, Silver by the Ounce. Um, but he's one of the people that kind of turned me on to these eight realis. So in this specifically, here's an 1820. Take a look at this coin. This is called a pillar dollar. And I'm sure that those of you that, are, that know about eight realis coins are familiar with that. So if you take a look here, on the reverse, very cool design. Got the crown, got the pillars. I also heard, and someone correct me or add to this information in the comments, but that uh, due to the these uh, pillar dollars that there's a chance that the dollar sign, as we know it, comes from uh, some of these uh, pillar dollars. The columns with the with the curves on there. So, I don't know if that's true or not, um, but I have heard that. I think that's kind of a really neat. The pillar dollar, the eight realis, pieces of eight, pirate treasure, you know, think Pirates of the Caribbean or whatever. Um... This was legal tender in the United States up until 1857. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, the eight realis coin was legal tender. It's the first worldwide um, kind of, um, what do you call it? Well, a big stack. What am I trying to say? It was the first currency, worldwide currency in the, in the entire world with uh, being uh, used for goods and services in all continents, with except for Antarctica. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, here's an 1820 version. And uh, Ferdin the Seventh. All right, so let's take a look at this one. Oh, I love this one. Not everyone is a fan of shipwreck coins, but uh, I splurged on this one. What we have here is uh, from the Rose Vike shipwreck, uh, 1737, Mexico City Mint, Adrialis. So just think, this was sitting underwater for how long? When did when did was this discovered? I feel like it was 2004. So a couple hundred years underwater, off the coast of uh, Britain and Kent. What amazing design. So yeah, this has uh, AU details, because it was cleaned, you know, being underwater. I looked up some of what the coins look like as they were kind of fished up from down below. Here, get a little bit of a close-up here. What a beautiful coin. So back to this. Sorry. <clears throat> so 
So back to this uh, on the obverse here. So you see the two globes in the middle. That's supposed to stand for the old world and the new world. And these are the pillars of Hercules. But holding history. So this, uh, when this ship went down in 1740, I believe, um, 230 plus people died. It was a boat that was owned by the East India Trading Company. Just really cool, holding history in your hand. Just thinking that this sat underwater for hundreds of years, and mm. there's a good chance that uh, <laughs> if this would have would have been uh, uh, targeted or meant for illegal trade, since uh, I believe that they said um, I think at least half of the artifacts and the things that they brought up. Um, from the bottom were not on the manifests. So um, I think, if I remember correctly, the uh, East India Trading Company, they kind of put up with a little bit of smuggling because it was a win-win. <laughs> they got a lot out of the, their ships that actually made it there and back that they were willing to live with a little bit of smuggling. But I don't know. Um, like, like I mentioned, uh, shipwreck coins are not for everybody, but uh, this is pretty darn cool for me. 1737. Um, yeah, so I guess that's all I got for you today. I guess I'll put these side by side real quick. So in this particular... And the older uh, pillar dollar doesn't have the monarch on the front. But in the back, they both do have... Very similar design. I dig them. I gave uh, my children each uh, pillar dollar for Christmas this past year. Um, I think they were all 1798 or 1799. I think they had Careless the Fourth on there, but uh, perfect coin for their collection. It was some of the first uh, foreign coins that I've given to them, but they just marveled at well, this this old, and this was actually. You know, <laughs> used as currency back then. Yeah, sure it was. And then, of course, it was a currency in the United States at that same time as well, back in the early, or excuse me, late 1700s. So, there you go. Again, a shout out to Silver by the Ounce. And I encourage you to go over and check out his channel. In fact, I'm going to try to remember to put a link in the description to his channel because uh, he, he does some great things over there. So, there you have it. That's all I've got for you today. This is Big Stack Numismatics. I sure appreciate you uh, coming out and checking out this video and I hope that wherever you are it's nice and cool <laughs> and that uh, that you're getting a chance to kick back and relax a little bit so much appreciated I hope you everyone has a great rest of your weekend we'll talk to you soon thanks